Hiya guys, West Country Explorer here. Now I'm back at Towndale Mills in Wellington because what happened was that after I, my last visit, not about a day or two after, I spotted somebody who'd done a report on their, their visit to Towndale Mill. They'd put it on a urbex site that I go on every now and again. And they explored a part of the mill that I hadn't gone to in my visit. So I thought, right, I've got to come back and try and find this place. It's a boiler room area. So I've done a trip back to Tonedale Mill to see if I can find the boiler room area, guys. So let's see what I can find. Well, the last time when I came here, I didn't go over to that side. And I think that's possibly where the boiler room and all that is. So what I'm going to do is Look, there's some houses over there so I'm not going to record while I go across I'm just going to do a quick scoot across right now the irritating thing is I've forgotten to bring my torch with me silly boy so Oof. blinking already the birds are scaring me Right, okay, there's a, I uh, can't get that way far, plus because I've forgotten my torch I can't really light it up, so, okay, so that's just that little bit, ah, oh, dear me, right, I'm determined to try and find this boiler room, ah, oh, this bit's definitely seen better days, Mind the old sightseeing better days, so. Uh. Uh, I must admit, guys, I am slightly, ever so slightly, hung over today. Bought some Belgian beers home with me. I had a couple of bottles last night. Whoa, hello. Look at that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm glad I did come over here. I found this bit. Yes. Right, look at that. Oh, that is nice. It was definitely worth it just to see this bit, I think. Hopefully I'll find more. There you go, I think those would have had belts to them, touch them. I don't know how well you can see the belts. Like I'm kicking myself for forgetting me camp and me torch, so. But hey ho. Right then, back down these steps and carry on having a little look around. Right, so I've come down the stairs, looking out this window, and on that building, there's a sign for Alpha, Alpha Garage Service Car and Motorcycles. So that looks like a modern business, but looking through, it looks like the building's derelict, so. Has it been a part of the birth site that's been used by the garage service company and they've now left? I mean, all those bits of building over there, they, okay, they've got scaffolding, but they look abandoned as well. I mean, that's part of the reason I didn't come over to this bit of the site on my first visit was because I was thinking this looks like it's been renovated and all the rest. So, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I might wander over to that door and quietly pop my head through. See what's occurring. Hmm. 
I don't know how abandoned is this part of the site. It's feeling a bit. I'm feeling a bit sketchy over here. Well, I bottled out of exploring that part of the site. I just started to get uh, really nervous. And yeah, I suppose you could say I wimped out a bit. So <laughs> I haven't found the boiler room and the, all that bit. So yeah, but I mean, I gave it a try and I'll probably now get comments from people saying, oh no, you were right close to it. You're, you're almost there. So <laughs> but anyway, I've seen little bits that I didn't see last time. So that's quite nice. Um, maybe another day, maybe another day I'll come back and actually find it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop off at Taunton because there's a pin in Taunton that I want to check out. So, yeah, so keep your eyes open for that video. And thank you for watching this one. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, the usual stay safe, take care, God bless.